Okay, now that you have written those decimals down, what I'm, we're going to do is now look at which decimal is bigger. So looking at our number, our decimals that doesn't have a hole and our decimals that do have a hole and looking at which one is bigger and why. So if I had just 0 and 3 tenths of a pie, and I just ate that much, I would have only eaten 1, 2, 3. Okay, that's all I've eaten if I've only eaten 0 point oh sorry zero and three tenths of a pie if i had eaten one and three tenths of a pie do you think predict can you predict for me which do you think is bigger do you think zero and three tenths or one and three tenths is bigger if you guessed one and three tenths is bigger you are right now this is why if i've eaten a whole pie so one, remember this one on this side of the decimal point are all whole numbers. So they're, they're all whole pies. So I've eaten this whole pie and then three, also three tenths of a pie. So one and three tenths would look like this, whereas three tenths would only look like this. So one and three tenths is the bigger number. Now let's have a go at some other ones. If I have zero and two tenths or um, one and one tenth. Now, can you predict which one you think is bigger? So if I had zero and two tenths, I would only have eaten no whole pie and two tenths of this pie. So just two tenths of a pie, okay? If I had eaten one and one tenths, then I would have eaten a whole pie and then only one tenth of a pie. So I've actually eaten more. I've eaten more of this part, uh, more with the one and one tenths. Even though on the tenth side it's bigger, I mean, it's on the tenth side it's smaller than this side, but this side here is telling me that I've eaten one big whole pie before I've eaten one tenth of a pie. Okay, so that's why this one is bigger. All right, let's try another one. If I ate one and six tenths, or if I had one and three tenths, which number would be bigger? So one and six tenths or one and three tenths? The bigger number would be one and six tenths and that's because the one is the same so we always look at the first number first the one is the same but the tenths when we look at the tenths column the six is bigger than the three so one and six tenths is the bigger number what about this number here three and two tenths or three and six tenths. Okay, which number out of these two is a bigger? So remember we look on this side of the decimal place first and both numbers are the same. So we're not sure which one's bigger yet. And then our next step is we look on the other side of the decimal point. And that this number has a two and this number has a six. Two tenths is smaller than six tenths. So our highest number or our biggest number we have here is three and six tenths. So on your next page, you're going to have a list of um, different um, 
um, decimals <laughs> and I would like you to choose which one's the bigger one out of the two. After that, you're then going to look at this, um, this one here. Okay, so our table. I'm just going to rub this out so we don't have too many things on our board. I'll bring it a bit closer so you can see. All right, now on my table here, I have three numbers and you're going to have a few more than that. Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to listen to my voice first and then add in the numbers. So remember that we have on this side of the decimal place a whole numbers. So I've eaten a whole pie. On this side of the decimal place, I have tenths, so I only have part of a whole number. So this side is smaller than this side, just like we would with our hundreds, tens and ones. Okay. Now, looking at my table here, I have... One and two tenths, one and six tenths, and one and eight tenths. Now, you need to choose out of these three numbers that are written down which one is the biggest. Now, the biggest number, as you can see on this side of the decimal place, because we always start and look at the number on this side first, they're all one, so they're all the same. So which number, we then look at the tenths column to see which number would be the biggest. Now the biggest number, would it be two tenths, one and two tenths, one and six tenths, or one and eight tenths? Eight is the biggest number, so it's the biggest amount of tenths. So I would circle one and eight tenths as my biggest number. Now, which number is the smallest number out of these three? Well, we know it's not one and eight tenths because that's our biggest. Is that one and two tenths or one and six tenths? Now, the ones are the same as we know. Let's look at the tenths column. Is two or six bigger? Oh, well, six is bigger, so our smallest number would be the Two, so one and two tenths is my smallest number. Okay, have a go at those two activities now. If you have any questions, please, could you um, put it in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.